Hello everybody, CryptoVin here, CryptoVin YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it. I'm just getting the channel going, so if you could please subscribe, like, and share, I'd appreciate it very much. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. If you have a project you want me to look into for GPU mining, please let me know. Also, I'd like a little bit of feedback on uh, thinking about doing a giveaway. So if you could let me know what kind of giveaway uh, everyone likes, I'd appreciate it. And I'll see if we can make that happen. So today I'm going to talk about Sinovate and how to GPU mine it. So here I'm on Sinovate's website, Sinovate.io. And this is... The blockchain stats, the block height is 334,482. Circulating supply is 517,326,888. Total addresses, total transactions, and total amount of SIN burnt. We'll get into that a little bit later as to what that means. So this is about Sinovate. What is Sinovate? It's an open source state-of-the-art peer-to-peer digital currency dedicated to developing cutting-edge blockchain products, services, and solutions. Seeks to implement innovative blockchain technologies into all areas of the modern economy and is continuously researching new applications for private and corporate use. Some of the innovations include the X25X algorithm, infinity nodes, incorruptible data storage, IDS, or infinite chain deterministic on-chain infinity nodes, Revolving Sovereignty Votes, Sinovit Document Verification. And here's the review. You can read that when you get a chance. I'm just going to do a brief overview for uh, mining purposes. And there's their mission. Video you can watch. Okay, here are the features. Sinovit name was chosen for several reasons. It represents the core beliefs and plans of the team. In a community, there is also an eagerness to innovate the current way that other blockchains function, providing the solutions necessary to make Sinovit the next generation platform and currency is being done, principally through Sinovit's features, what follows are explanations of how they work and what they bring to the table. Okay, you got the X25 algorithm, leading edge, in-house built, ASIC FPGA quantum resistant X25X GPU mining algorithm, more complex, less power hungry. So as a GPU miner, these are all things we like. We like the ASIC FPGA resistance, keeps the project decentralized, uh, less power hungry, which is also a plus. And you can own an infinity node designed specifically to address the economic problems all master node projects face. Infinity nodes help to limit the inflation rate and available coin supply. And how do they do that? Well, they have this proof of burn, they call it, for the infinity nodes. There's three different kinds of nodes you can get. The tiers are 1 million is a SIN. It's a big SIN master node. 500,000 is a mid SIN master node. 100,000 is a little SIN master node. And it runs on the proof of burn consensus mechanism, provides blockchain network validity by ensuring that all participa participating nodes reach consensus and by forcing bad actors to think twice before attempting to carry out malicious activities, SIN coins must be sent to a non-spendable address to initiate the burn process. So basically what I'm getting out of this is it's like cold staking except you're running a master node and you're putting your coins in uh, like a cold staking for a year and in the meantime you get passive income every month from the node. Every started new infinity node must permanently burn the required collateral to maintain a low circulating supply of consistent coin demand and stable coin value. So it's taking out, a, taking out of the circulating supply for a year is another video products and services so it's it looks like they're into this into decentralized data storage 
They have a flash send, which is 533 transactions per second in less than two seconds, which is approximately 75 times more scale within Bitcoin. 533 is pretty good. Revolving sovereignty votes, decentralized voting. Infinity node holders can participate in decentralized voting using the built-in revolving e-governance system. Specification, again, the X25X algorithm. GPU mineable ensures ASIC, FPGA, and quantum resistance, solidifying the decentralized consensus mechanism in the process. Is there partners and affiliates? Exchanges? Down here, you down here on the bottom left, you can get their wallets. They have a Zellcore wallet wallet for iOS. I uh, did that one, got my wallet from there. I also downloaded this, but it's taken too long to update. So I just got my wallet. If you want a quick wallet address, this is it here. You can download that on your iPhone, get a password, and you're in business. Here are the pools it's on. Talks about the X25 algorithm. Important information if you're a miner, you want to read this when you get a chance. This is the white paper for that algorithm. Here's a mining guide. So you're looking for T-Rex as a miner. You want, you want to look for this T-Rex if you're running uh, SMOS or some other one that you can mine on. Uh, so I'm going to be using the T-Rex. Here's the mining pool. I'm using Zerg pool and I'm not promoting uh, one particular pool. It's just in terms of this video for tutorial purposes, for efficiency in the video and, and time management, I'm gonna do the Zerg pool and I'll tell you why in a minute. Let's click on miners. Okay, so it's basically the same link. There's some products, flash send instant payments. Talks about the decentralized data, infinity nodes, X25 algorithm, is their mission, the specifications, which I kind of, kind of looks like it's just taking me back to what I just went over. So let's move on then. And they have a white paper that you, when you get a chance, you can read. It's the technical aspects of the project and just for terms of time for this video, I'm not going to go over the technical aspects. It's just a brief review. So if we go to Coin Market Cap real quick, you can see that it's ranked 816. This is the price of the coin right now. Some good links here if you want them. You want to check it out? So let's go to Zerg Pool. You want to click on the X25X algorithm here. Down here, and you'll find Synovate. You're going to get your wallet. And this is the minor command line generator, which is what I love about Zerg Pool. Doesn't mean you have to use Zerg Pool. You can take this line and plug it in anywhere, in any any uh, mining pool. X25X, Syn. There's my wallet address. Boom, pops it out. Copy and paste. We're going to go over to Simple Mining, Group Configure. And add a group. You remember how we saw on their website, T-Rex. So we're gonna to go to T-Rex here. You can see they do X25. You're gonna click on that. I'm using CUDA 9.1, but you can use 10.0 if you want. Copy and paste your algorithm right here. Your, I'm sorry, your command line right here. Group name, Synovate, I usually put uh, the pool and the type of program I'm using for mining. You can see here, Zerg Pool T-Rex 9.1. And here's the command line, which I'll have in the description. Very easy, short command line. Let's go to the rig list. It's my rig. And as you can see, I'm hashing away. And I'm getting shares. T-Rex version 14.6 on the miner mining pool. 
and it's changing difficulties. So it's working. It's, it's working successfully. We know it's working. And I will leave that in the comment section. So that's going to be do it. If you have any questions or comments, again, please leave them in the comment section. If you have a project, again, if you want me to look into, please let me know. And please like, subscribe, and share. I'm just getting the channel going. So, of course, I appreciate it very much. And I'm also thinking about doing a giveaway. Please let me know what you think about that, what kind of giveaways you like. And if you have anything else, please feel free to do so. Leave it in the comments. Until next time.